Alrighty then, successful indie author, five minute focus, episode 607, top of search, which is an Amazon ad thing. There he is, look at him sleeping over there. He hasn't gotten up yet. He did, to get in here and go back to bed. All right, top of search. On your Amazon ad, advertising.amazon.com, the am, the platform, and I'm talking specifically the U.S. site here, in case it's different elsewhere, you have top of search. Top of search is important because that's where people see things the most. It's the top of the search. How many times does it hit the top of the search? I have one ad that's hitting at 14%. Good on that one. I had another one that was hitting on 12%. However, it had an A cost of some 4,400%. Okay, it wasn't big, but one sale of 99 cents for uh, $43 of ad spend. I just turned that one off because uh, top of search wasn't yielding sales. And if you're not getting conversion, and I think the most important thing with an Amazon ad is conversion. When people go over there, do they buy the book? If they buy the product then Amazon gives you good guy points and they'll keep showing it and show it better and at a cheap price because you get the conversion. Uh, and you can't track that except uh, on a macro sense. You can kind of look at the numbers and see, well, I get this many impressions, I get this many clicks, how many sales did we get, and try to break down the macro level of is this working or not. Uh, you'll realize it over time as you continually get a good uh, a good return on those clicks, a good sales, one to ten or less, you'll say, "Hey, this one, this ad is working," and Amazon will agree with you because they keep showing it. So, top of search, uh, it's an important metric. Anything over five percent, any because they just go less than five percent. Anything over five percent, as long as you get sales from it, just make sure you're making those sales. Uh, double check your sales numbers. At uh, the macro level, like go to uh, your your KDP dashboard, your uh, bookshelf uh, reports, and see, hey, I sold 10 copies of that book. The ad says I sold three. Pretty good. I've got uh, I've got sales. I've got revenue coming in. It's more than what I'm spending on the ads. Life is good. That's what I mean by macro. <clears throat> it doesn't mean study that data in the Amazon ad and all of their reporting because it's not completely factual. It's not completely on track with everything that you're doing. So verify via macro. How much did you spend? How much are you making on the outside as opposed to what the ad says you've spent and made on that ad? Well, what you've spent is real, but what you've made is usually uh, uh, either inflated or grossly deflated, and usually it's less. It's less than what uh, you think you made. All right, click on the campaign. Once you go into your ad dashboard, it shows all the campaigns. You can sort them. You click on those columns, and you can sort uh, big to, uh, high to low. So I sorted on, here's how much I spent. Then I clicked on the top ad campaign, and you go over to uh, the next screen. <clears throat> and on that left side, you've got an option for placements. You click on placements, and this is where you can improve and make your own luck. <clears throat> you can increase the bid on a top of search uh, ad <clears throat> to get the top of search placement. Now you can go uh, anything from zero to whatever percent. Uh, I went to 200%. However, be warned that if you have a 35 cent ad, 200% goes up to a dollar and five because it goes, uh, uh, the original ad doubled. And uh, yeah, yeah. And then I also had up and down clicks. So I was paying like $2 a click. Don't do that. Don't be like me. Uh, just verify. But maybe bump it up 50% and see, can I get this one ad at the top of search? Top of search is where you want to be. Why? Where do you hide a dead body? Second page of Google search results. How many people go over to the second page? I do on occasion, but not very many. You want that top of search. So how do you get there? Make your own luck <clears throat> and watch them. If you're consistently under 5%, there's something going on with the ad. There's something with the cover. There's something with people aren't clicking. Uh, a lot of impressions, very, very few clicks. Something is going on to not put that book in front of the readers. And then you may have to kill an ad if you've done that long enough because 
Amazon has you with all kinds of negative uh, modifiers saying, people click over here, but they're not buying the product. We're not going to show that. So they're going to move you way down. You're going to be on the, like the 19th page of the search results, and nobody ever goes there except the author himself saying, hey, where's my ad? Don't be that. Don't be that person. Make, make sure you get it on the top of search. Uh, 10, 15% is great. Good luck. I've seen people up to 50% with a high conversion rate. Guess what? Amazon will show more of those. Big win. Kudos to the people who are able to achieve that. And it takes time to massage your ads and make sure you get the, the right wording, the right impact, and the right targets. All right. Hopefully that helps. Stop the search. Look for it. Try to use it if you can. Try to exploit it. Peace, fellow humans.